Today we're going to make a cottage pie with our 100% grass-fed ground beef. I've already made the mashed potato and I've, this is going to go on top and that's something that you want to have done ahead of time and in order to be able to just put it all together once the ground beef is done. So I've done about five of these big red potatoes, chopped them up into small pieces, boiled them and then I've mashed those with a little bit of our fresh farm butter, salt and pepper and you don't want to put as much butter in as you would usually put in a mashed potato because you don't want the potato to be too soft when you put it on top of the ground beef. So now we're going to make the beef for the um, cottage pie and what we want to do is give it a lot of, a lot of added flavor as well as what we already have in the grass fed and I'm going to start by having a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to um, saute some onions. And you just want those, wait for them to get transparent. You cook them around, make sure you move them around a little bit. Turn it down a little bit. And just make sure they don't get burned. So once the onions start to look a little bit translucent, I'm going to add the mushrooms. They'll obviously cook down quite a bit and they'll add some liquid as well. So I just mix those around and get the mushrooms and the onions into a nice flavorful mixture. And at this point, I might add a little bit of pepper. There we go. Mix that around and just wait for those to cook down. Now that you can see that the onions and the mushrooms have really cooked down, I'm going to add the meat. I've got two pounds of ground meat here. And this is our beef, so I'm going to add that in. And what you want to do here is mix it all in. And if you feel like it's starting to stick a little bit as you cook, as you move it around, just I just add a splash of wine because we're going to want to add wine anyway. So you just want to get some extra liquid in there to help it cook down. And that's just a leftover red wine. It doesn't have to be anything special. And you just want to move it around until the beef is nicely cooked all the way through. Now you can see we have a nice gravy forming and all the beef is cooked through. You want to be doing this on about a medium heat. There's no need to rush it and you'll only run the risk of burning everything if you try and do it too high. Um, and now that everything's cooked, I'm gonna turn it down even further and add a little bit of the flavor, which is I'm gonna add some Worcester sauce. I should say a lot of Worcester sauce. Um, and possibly a little bit more of the wine. then that'll get a nice flavor in there and then also my secret weapon is some marmite which you may not be familiar with um, if anyone's ever given it to you on toast or something like that you might think this is the worst thing but it's very flavorful it's like it's like almost like a beef stock so it's a great way to flavor beef when you're doing things like this and to add flavor to gravies so about be about two, two teaspoons of that and that'll just make it really nice and bring out all the really good flavors of the grass-fed meat and then we'll just mix that up make sure that it's really nice nicely mixed in and then the very last thing that I'm gonna do is add some, any vegetables you like. Um, I'm just going to add some mixed, frozen mixed vegetables, um, which is just, I don't like having a lot of vegetables in my cottage pie, but it's nice to have a little bit of color when you open it up. And we're going to stick it in the oven to, to do the potato as well and get it all blended together. So you don't have to worry about the vegetables absolutely defrosting. So that is the bottom portion of the cottage pie. Okay, now we've made all the individual pieces for the cottage pie, we're just gonna put it together. And we have our mashed potato, which is gonna go on the top, and we have the, the meat, which we have nicely cooked with a nice gravy. So what you're gonna to want to do is make sure that you get a lot of the gravy in there as well. Put this as much as you can bottom so we're going to make a nice layer which takes up about half the what 
whatever you're using, just fill it up about halfway. And then the mashed potato on top. You're gonna want to do it a little bit like you might ice a cake. You don't wanna try and spread it because then you're just gonna end up moving all the meat around. So just put big globs on. And I have seasoned the mashed potato to taste. Lots of salt and pepper. And like I said before, not too much butter. And I keep the skins on because I think it looks I think it looks nice. And make, what you want to do is make sure you get lots of nice crevices in here so that when you put it back in the oven it gets nice and golden brown on top. This is our finished cottage pie. It's nicely toasted on the top. And what I did was I put it under the broiler just until it was nice and brown and, and golden on the top. And since we're gonna eat it right away, that's all we need to do because we cooked everything right away. It's all still hot. If you don't want to eat it right away, put it in the fridge and you can heat the whole thing up in the oven and it will automatically get nice and golden on top. And if it doesn't, you can still stick it under the broiler for a little bit. But this is what it should look like when you're done.